Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, I'll be telling you about few tips and tricks that are required in order to get your resume shortlisted. And in this video, we'll also be sharing with you a link of the ATS friendly resume template, which helped many of my subscribers to get the interview calls. And you can also see in their success stories that they are sharing that they used this ATS friendly resume template in order to increase the number of calls. So let us focus on the tips and tricks first. So it's very important that you mention about the current trends things in your resume. So whenever I am reviewing the resume, so I'm finding few of the resumes in which the things are not there. For example, DevOps is not there. CICD is not written. Agile testing methodologies is not written. Jira is not written. These things are trending in the current market. So it becomes very important that you add them to your resume so that the ATS. So these days, none of the recruiter would be manually going through the resume and or the CV and they will shortlist it. They are using a tracking system. They are using ATS friendly, ATS kind of an application, which is seeing all the CVs, which is going through all the CVs and it is shortlisting them. So in order to get your ATS friendly resume template, what you can do is you can go through link this link on the top mid and it is available at a very nominal cost. So you can avail this resume template. And if you have already purchased it, then don't purchase it again. But if you haven't purchased it so far, then you can avail it today itself. So it is available at a very nominal cost. I'll be putting the link of this particular resume template in the comment section of the video as well as in the description of the video so that it becomes easier for you to avail it. Apart from that, let me go through other tips and tricks. So quantify attachments. So sorry, achievements. So what is achievements? Many of the people will be telling that I am doing testing. I am finding bugs. I am doing automation testing. But what is the impact that you are creating in your team that you need to showcase in the resume? So for example, you are increasing the test automation coverage by 10%. You increased the test automation for complex modules by 5%. You reduce the bug backlog by 30%. You reduced four hours of manual testing team. So that's how you have to quantify your achievements. So it becomes very important that you are able to put those things in the form of numbers, in the form of data, 20%, 30%, 15%, 10%. And these things are actually a part of discussion in these days in interviews. What, what is your role? What is your contribution in an interview? What is your contribution in the project? Those questions are being asked in an interview. So you have to be prepared for these kind of things. Detail your role. So it becomes very important that you describe the role. If you are being asked, introduce yourself, then you just don't have to just tell about two or three lines and include about education. That will not be sufficient. You have to tell in detail how many test cases do you design? How many test cases do you develop? how many automated test cases you are designing, how many um, test cases have you designed in last six months or maybe three months. They might ask you these kind of questions as well. How do you collaborate with the other team members? Let it be a development team or a QA team or the product management team. What is your role? So those things you have to highlight in detail then about industry experience. So what industry experience you have? What is the domain? Is it healthcare? Is it finance? These days in the resumes, you would see people have written almost half of the page, 50% of the page with the company, what it is doing with the product, with the application, what it is doing. But they are more interested in your role. How do you test that particular software rather than knowing about the company or about the client or about that project or the product? They want to hire you not they want to purchase that particular application in which you are testing. List relevant technical skills these days, test automation, automation testing is very important. So you have to add these particular keywords, test automation, automation testing, Selenium, API automation, Jenkins, rest assured, Postman. These things are very important, right? There are jobs of manual testing. It's not like it's, it is not there and it is not like manual testing is dead, but from the resume perspective, from the interview perspective, even if you are going for fully functional testing or manual testing role, they will ask you few questions on automation as well. Then mention testing tools. So we just discussed about that. 
like selenium jira or postman this will help you to demonstrate your technical capabilities so overall you have to include these kind of things in your resume to get it shortlisted and don't forget to make sure that you are updating on nokri every day twice a day once you can do it early in the morning around 8 a.m 8 30 a.m before 9 a.m and once at the night around 10 p.m or 9 30 p.m so that whenever the recruiter starts their day your resume your profile your candidature is at the top right so in this video we discussed about the resume ats friendly resume template and how to get that particular template so let me show you the link from where you can get this ATS friendly resume template with the help of this template many of my subscribers got job opportunities many of my subscribers have started getting interview calls as well one of them have also appeared at the company like Cisco Apple so recently they got an opportunity there to give the interview they got the call by using this particular template only so the template is available in the pdf format you have to convert it into a word document and then you would be able to use it and it becomes very important that you should be able to add these things you should be adding these particular things in your resume like current trends and you have to quantify the achievements you have to detail provide the detail about your role then you have to highlight the industry experience you have to list the relevant technical skills and you have to mention the testing tools that you are working on so it becomes very important to have these kind of skills right so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to avail that particular digital product today itself in order to get the maximize in order to get the boost in the interview calls right so thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates